Hello guys! Several are officially announced the date of Eternal Supply Crate and my Discord ID did too, but as always, faster! So if you want to be the first to know the latest information before it will be announced, join my Discord server guys! Ok guys, in this video I will show you in what order and dates when you will see this supply crate. And if you somehow missed a video where I was talking about Eternal Crates are the best to open, I will talk again guys. So the first will be Light Chaser. Crates with guaranteed Light Chaser will be available from March 20 to March 23. You will have 3 days to make a decision if to spend your gems on it. I personally think that Light Chaser is not that weapon on which you should spend your gems. Yes, Light Chaser is a great weapon, but in most chapters you're using Void Power. To pass a few chapters and in Enders Echo you need Kunai. So why to spend on Light Chaser? Just to have it in your collection? I don't even remember when I was using Light Chaser to pass a chapter or trial or in events. After Light Chaser we'll have Eternal Glows. So crates with Eternal Glows will be available from March 23 to March 26. There are many discussions about S Glows, which of them is better, Eternal or Handguard. They both are very powerful, but Eternal Glows greatly increase crit rate, chance and damage. These Glows overpower Handguards when you hit enemies or many times or many enemies or both. You see, more times you will hit enemies, then you will have hard chance to do recreate damage. For example, in Enders Echo you are using Kunai, and when you have Shuriken, you throw many Shurikens. At Legendary Gate, Eternal Glows are better and will do higher damage than Hand Guards. So, my verdict Eternal Glows are really worth your gems and the best at Legendary Gate. After Eternal Glows, we will have Eternal Suit from March 26 to March 29. Eternal Suit is the best suit, but the problem about crates with guaranteed Eternal Suit is that it gives health, not attack. I recommend you to spend your gems on Eternal Suit only if you don't have it, otherwise don't spend your gems on these crates. From March 29 to April 1 we'll have crates with guaranteed Eternal Belt. Don't even think to spend your gems on it. After this we'll have Eternal Necklace from April 1 to April 4. Eternal Necklace is the best necklace in game, if you have gems to spend, then Eternal Necklace is the best choice after Eternal Glows. I calculated that with Eternal Glows at the same crate as Eternal Necklace you will do higher damage. Eternal Necklace gives higher attack, but the difference is not big. I tested the damage I did to the red boss at 100% health. RPG did 290,000 damage, and when the red boss was about to die, RPG did 210,000 damage. 290,000 damage done to the boss is on 27.5% higher than at minimum health. Eternal Glows give plus 20% attack and increase crit rate, crit chance and crit damage. So with Eternal Glows you do higher damage. That's why it's better to upgrade Eternal Glows to Legendary Crate at first than Eternal Necklace. And the last one we will have Eternal Boots from April 4 to April 7. These boots are really good, but the same situation with them as with Eternal Suit, they give health. Anyway, it's not the best thing to spend your gems on. I wish you all to get many S equipments during these Eternal Supply Crates and make some of them legendary. For those who already have them legendary, don't waste your gems and keep for another great offer.